Does testosterone replacement cause hair loss? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to break down exactly why people think testosterone replacement causes hair loss, and will it cause hair loss for you? So let's talk about the typical type of hair loss that we see in men in general that can also happen with testosterone, and it's called androgenic alopecia. And typically it affects the hair across the temples and around the front part of the scalp. And so what causes male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia? So and male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia is exceedingly common. In fact, 80% of 70 year old Caucasian men will have some degree of male pattern hair loss. And interestingly, Asian, Native American and African men tend to have a lesser degree of hair loss and less proportion of men who develop hair loss so that when they do develop it, it's also less thinning of the hair and less significant. Now, why do men develop hair loss? Well, there's a whole host of issues that can lead to hair loss. Very commonly, it's genetic. So if you have a dad that had a male pattern hair loss, it's very likely that you will develop it also. Now, it's not exactly as well defined in terms of if your mom has hair loss, if that will affect you as well. But we do know some genes are passed on the X chromosome, which are definitely from the mom. But there's a whole host of factors that can affect the hair growth cycle and can cause shedding. And this can be due to stress, which is a very common one, poor nutrition. It can be due to using tight hairstyles. So if you're a man with long hair or even a woman with long hair and you tend to do really tight buns or pull your hair back very severely or tightly, it will cause hair loss, particularly in the areas where there's more traction. Certain infections or medications can also lead to hair loss. And abnormalities in certain hormones like your thyroid or certain things like iron deficiency or other deficiencies can also lead to hair loss. Now, why does this hair loss occur? So when you have androgenic alopecia, there's a few things that happen to your hair based on the hair growth cycle. So when you think about the hair growth cycle, there's the anagen phase or the phase where your hair is growing actively, which then goes to the catagen phase where it's transitioning and sort of stabilizing the hair growth starts to slow down or the telogen phase, which means it's not growing and it's also not shedding, but less hair is going through the growth phase. So it starts appearing that you're having less hair overall because you're getting less active growth. And also the follicles of the hair tend to become smaller. So what this means is that the hair is actually getting thinner and finer than it used to be. So how is testosterone related to hair loss? Well, first of all, it's because of an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. So 5-alpha reductase has two isoforms or two types, and type two is the form that is actually active in the hair follicle. It's actually present in the sheath or the outer root sheath of the hair, as well as in the proximal follicle, meaning the very deepest part of the hair follicle. Dihydrotestosterone is made in men's bodies by conversion from testosterone. Every day, a man's body makes about five milligrams of testosterone. Now, a very small percentage of that, about six to eight percent, is converted to a hormone called dihydrotestosterone. Now, this hormone has some important functions, particularly in young men. It can lead to secondary sex characteristics like getting body hair, getting pubic hair, deepening of the voice, or even some acne formation. And so it's important in young men. And as you age, sometimes that DHT can contribute to other issues like having an enlarged prostate or hair loss. Interestingly, early on in the 1980s, in small studies, they found that men who had alopecia compared to men who didn't had lower levels of sex hormone binding globulin, but normal levels of testosterone. So they actually had higher levels of free testosterone. If you want to learn more about sex hormone binding globulin, check out my video on that. But basically sex hormone binding globulin binds up some of the testosterone. So there's less of it that's freely available. So when you have lower SHBG, you have more free testosterone. So from that study, a link was created from free testosterone. If you have higher amounts of free testosterone, you may be more likely to have alopecia. But what's the actual truth. 
Future studies, particularly a 2017 study looking at about 373 men from northeastern Germany, and they looked at men with androgenic alopecia compared to those who didn't have it. And when they compared them, they found no significant difference in any sort of androgen concentrations between those who had hair loss and those who didn't. So from this study and other sort of theories about this, they've theorized that probably it's not that the increase in testosterone actually leads to hair loss for everybody. It's probably that in men, who are predisposed, they have a genetic abnormality that makes them more likely to have hair loss. When they get that increase in DHT related to higher testosterone levels, they're more likely to see that male pattern hair loss when they may not have without it. So meaning if you don't have genetic predisposition to hair loss, like your father has a great head of hair at the age of 80, then it's unlikely that testosterone is going to cause your hair loss. But again, hair loss is very multifactorial and it can be caused by a whole variety of things. Now, the most interesting data about this actually comes from transgender men because they actually looked at people who started testosterone and they followed them for years to see how many actually developed hair loss on their head. And so when looking at a whole bunch of prospective studies, meaning looking at people moving forward after they've started testosterone replacement therapy, so women who want to become men who take testosterone replacement therapy to change their appearance, find that about um, five to 17% of people will develop some male pattern hair loss in that first year after starting TRT. And most people will develop that hair loss within the first two to five years after starting testosterone. In 2021, a study in JAMA Dermatology, which is a really excellent journal, looked at people who started testosterone replacement therapy. Almost a thousand patients who went on testosterone replacement therapy for transgender reasons, and they looked at how many of them developed androgenic alopecia. Now, of the patients who started testosterone replacement therapy, they followed them for about six years. And what they found was that over those six years, only 2.7% of them developed male pattern hair loss. And again, this is not exactly a perfect study because these are younger individuals who probably have less risk of male pattern hair loss at that age most of the time. But generally speaking, we're seeing that the hair loss is actually quite low in that particular study. Now, other studies, as I mentioned, have seen hair loss as high as 12 to 17% in people starting hormone replacement therapy for the purposes of becoming a transgender male. Now, in one of these studies, they actually looked at the severity of hair loss. Now, take this again with a grain of salt because it was only 20 individuals. When they looked at the people who developed hair loss after starting testosterone replacement therapy, only about 30% developed moderate to severe alopecia. So the large majority were mild to moderate, which is encouraging. So ultimately, bottom line is, could testosterone replacement speed up male pattern hair loss? Absolutely. But likely it's because you're already genetically predisposed to getting hair loss. Now, ultimately, there are a whole host of benefits about testosterone. And I've made a whole bunch of videos about testosterone and why it's beneficial and why it may be helpful if you are truly low in terms of your testosterone levels. So if hair loss is a big concern for you, it's important to know that yes, it may speed up your hair loss and maybe one in five or less will develop some hair loss when starting testosterone. Hair loss can be caused by a whole host of factors. So if you are suffering from hair loss and either you're on testosterone or not, I strongly encourage you to see a dermatologist who is specialized in hair loss so they can help you, uh, one, uncover any medical reasons for the hair loss, and two, treat you for hair loss itself. If you're curious in learning more about treatment options for hair loss, uh, let me know in the comments below. We can get a dermatologist on the podcast to help us talk about those things in more detail. And if you didn't already know, I do have a podcast. Now I release those videos every Friday here on YouTube, but I also have them as audios on all the major podcast platforms, Apple, Spotify, and any other podcast platform you might use. So if you guys are enjoying my content, please be sure to check out our podcast and leave us a rating or a review if you're enjoying the podcast, because we greatly appreciate it. The best compliment you can give me is by sharing my content with others so people can find it all over the world. And as always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.